Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important verse and passage as we read Acts chapter 16 verses 25 to 34. Philippian jailer is converted is the heading. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight lord jesus christ lead us guide us help us be with us and bless us amen philippian jailer is converted but at night midnight paul and silas were praying and singing hymns to god and the prisoners were listening to them suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's chains were loosed and the keeper of the prison awaking from sleep and seeing the prison doors open supposing the prisoners had fled drew his sword and was about to kill himself but paul called with a loud voice saying do yourself no harm for we are all here then he said he called for a light rain in and fell down trembling before paul and silas verse 29 says then he called for a light ran in and fell down trembling before paul and silas and he brought them out and said sirs what must i do to be saved so they said believe on the lord jesus christ and you will be saved you and your household as we see further then they spoke the word of the lord to him and to all who were in his house and he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes and immediately he and all his family were baptized now when he had brought them into his house he set foot before them and he rejoiced having believed in god with all his household amen Here ends the reading of the passage Acts chapter 16 verses 25 to 34 We see the mighty miracle as Paul and Silas were praying and singing the first point Paul and Silas they were in the prison it was midnight and Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to god and the prisoners were listening to them paul and silas were in the prison we also at many times are in difficulties in problems in hard times in financial crisis now it is the time is midnight yes a very odd time and still Paul and Silas be in prison they were praising the living god let us trust the lord at all times psalm we read in 36 verse 8 and ephesians 3 verse 20 yes our mighty god will bless us abundantly yes let us trust him all the times and praise him all the times is also implicable in our lives maybe the situation maybe 
hard it may be that we are on the sick bed it may be that we are in a very tight financial position or having no business no job nor any prestigious life let us always praise the lord and thank him for everything yes we see further that there was a great earthquake yes beloved when we see further that the foundation of the prison were shaken and immediately the doors were open and everyone's chains were loosened this is the mighty miracle and the keeper of the prison awaking from sleep and seeing the prison doors open yes the prison doors flung open and the jailer supposing that the prisoners had fled drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he had the responsibility as a jail keeper that no prisoner should run away but paul called with a loud voice saying do yourself no harm for we are all here yes paul said it then we see that he called for a light ran in and fell trembling before paul and silas yes and he brought them out and said sirs what must i do to be saved when we obey our living god when we keep his commandments when we fear him and love him with all our heart mind soul and strength when we praise him 24 hours and also commit our lives into his hand yes the word says that the philippine jailer called them sirs yes a mighty god will give us the honor the richness honor as we read also in 1 chronicles 29 verse 12 riches and honor belong to him yes a mighty god will give us a good name high above nations a name praise and honor as we read in deuteronomy 26 verse 18 and 19 when when we obey him for with obedience is victory as we also read in deuteronomy chapter 11 as we read in proverbs 21 verse 31 the word says in the mighty word the horses made ready for the day of battle but the victory rests with our mighty god jesus christ is the way the way beloved mark it the truth and the life there is no other way so let us commit ourselves in the hands of lord jesus christ let us repent for our sins and be delivered yes for jesus christ came in this world not for the righteous but sinners for repentance matthew 9 was 13 is true as we see that the prisoner yes here paul and silas they were prisoners but the jailer called them sirs because he knew the mighty power was there with them that is our lord jesus christ and there was a earthquake yes that shows and reveals and confirms that our mighty god is the maker of heaven and earth yes psalm 121 also confirms it says i lift up my eyes to the hills from whence does my help come from my help comes from the lord who is the maker of heaven and earth he will not let your foot be moved behold he who keeps israel will neither slumber nor sleep the lord is a keeper the lord is a shade on your right hand the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night the lord will keep you from all evil the lord will keep your life the lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and for evermore hallelujah yes there is nothing impossible for a living god matthew 19:26 and with god 
all things are possible as we read in the mighty word it speaks in luke 1 verse 37 yes and also we see further that the philippine jailer asked believe for he said sirs what must i do to be saved the question is over here what must i do to be saved yes we also ask this question and they said believe on the lord jesus christ and you will be saved you and your household what a mighty gift of our living god for the word is life the word is spirit john 6 verse 63 is true for he is the god of the living and not the dead and all live to him the word is true luke 20 verse 38 jesus christ is our salvation as we read in revelation 7 10 and the word is true over here believe on the lord jesus christ and you will be saved you and your household there is no fees required we have to only believe yes i'm also the witness of lord jesus christ at a particular stage of life where everything turned futile the words came true in my life fear not only believe mark 5 verse 36 yes jesus christ will save us he will deliver us yes he will wipe away our every tear he will lead us to the living waters he will be our shepherd as we read in revelation 7 17 the word is true the lord is my shepherd i shall not want as we read in psalm 23 verses 1 and 2 yes try it beloved yes and you'll be happy in your life for jesus christ is next to you and to me every second every moment maybe our loved ones may leave this world by way of sickness by way of death but jesus christ is there with you and me he will not leave us as orphans the word is true john 14 verse 18 the word is true he is our i am who i am exodus 3 14 and for our every problems remember the word it says my presence shall go with thee and i will give you rest as we read the mighty word from exodus 33 verse 14 all power and authority heaven and earth belongs to lord jesus christ as we read in matthew 28 and he's promised us he's with us till the end of the age hallelujah yes the same words in deuteronomy 31 verse 6 be strong be courageous he will never leave you nor forsake you yes for man is but a breath in his nostril isaiah is true in chapter 22 verse 2 let us trust the lord at all times psalm 62 verse 8 is true and the word says yes that we have to fear our living god love him with all our heart mind soul and strength the first commandment written by the finger of god exodus chapter 20 yes every answer is there in the bible it is the manna to our soul and the roadmap of life yes and also a mighty god knows the end from the beginning isaiah 46 verse 10 is true even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of jesus of nazareth yes because he has all power he is the omnipotent god who reigns revelation 19 6. he is the king of king and the lord of lords revelation 19 verse 16. yes try the word and you'll be happy in your life surrender yourself in the hands of lord jesus christ he will carry us he will deliver us he will bear us he will carry us even in our gray hair and old age as we read in isaiah 46 verse 4 is true we are his clay and he is a potter he is our father isaiah 64 verse 8 is true make it a point to read the bible every day beloved give at least half an hour from the 24 hours 
Jesus Christ will speak to you. He will speak to you for the day, for the time, for your question. He will answer you. Write it down. Yes. And he will give us all that is good. Psalm 84, Psalm 85, verse 12 is true. Yes, there is great joy in the presence of our living God. And the word is true in 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. It says, My grace is sufficient for thee, and my power is made perfect in weakness. Hallelujah. As for the Holy Spirit, it has been given to us as a guide. Yes, and also it will help us to discern the right and the wrong. As we read, we have been given the gifts and the fruits of Holy Spirit. Galatians 5.22, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9. Take water baptism and also grow in the word of our living God. There will be mighty miracles in your life. There will be showers of blessing. Ezekiel 34, 26 is true. Ask and ye shall receive. Matthew 7, verse 8 is true. Be blessed today and every day. Let us pray for those who are on the sick bed. Abba, Father, we pray we come in your mighty presence. Be with my every brother, sister, children who are on the sick bed. Heal them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. For with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us, you heal us. Isaiah 53 verse 5 is true. You took our infirmities and carried our diseases. As we read the mighty word, yes, it speaks. As we read your word, yes, from Matthew 8 verse 17. Bless my every listener. Provide the needs, for you are our Emmanuel, God with us. You are our Ebenezer, God will help us. And you are a Yahweh, Ure, God will provide. Genesis 22, verse 14. Genesis 22, verse 8. Fill us with the power of Holy Spirit. Yes, for you have given us the Holy Spirit as a guide. Give each one of the wisdom. Give each one of us the wisdom for our daily life. Yes, for you are the fountain of wisdom, James 1 verse 5 and Proverbs 9 verse 10. Help the children, the youth to grow in thee and also to be the example. Yes, to set an example for believers in faith, truth, purity, conduct and speech. Yes, thank you. For this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118 is true. And the word is true which says, Save us now, O Lord, send us prosperity. As we read thy mighty word, Psalm 118, verse 25. Thank you for the victory rests with thee. As we read in Proverbs 21, verse 31. And you've already gone ahead of us, and you've already sent us. Judges 414, Judges 614. Thank you for this time to pray, and you've loved us. As we read in Jeremiah 31 verse 3, this prayer we ask in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen.